day 728, or day 700, and I forgot my microphone. <clears throat> Don't tell anyone. Oh no, I didn't press that. <laughs> so today I'm not, well, I wasn't sure what to talk about in today's video, because I've been doing it for nearly two years. On the 14th of March, it'll be two years I've made a video every day. Whoa, and only three years to go. <laughs> I had a thought this morning that different animals have different sounds. So like a dog goes woof woof, right? Really loud. Because every time we walk to school with the twins, the dogs come out and they bark at us. They don't sort of say woof really slowly. They don't go roar. Or they don't growl. But they have just really sh short, sharp things to say. And I thought, maybe that represents what the kind of thoughts that the animals have. Because I'm always wondering about that. You look into the eyes of a bunny and there's nothing there because because I don't make any noise. They read my script. They just stare at you with those blank eyes. Maybe not on blank, maybe they're just maybe they just don't make any noise. Maybe they just don't talk. But mice mice have ideas. Just tiny, tiny little ideas. Like squeak, squeak, squeak. Like rats, you know? If you've ever heard a rat, they definitely think like they sound. It's, I just, it's time to mop one's brow. Thank you very much. All this insulation is keeping it nice and warm in here. <clears throat> but I actually have a list of animals um, that we can go through together. Elephants, they come up with great ideas. <laughs> this is the sound of an elephant coming up with a good idea. But you cockatoos, they, they have ideas. Can you hear any? No cockatoos. The next door neighbor's going back inside. I don't blame her. It's very noisy. But cockatoos, there's no cockatoos right now. That's annoying. But they, they, they have lots of loud, terrified thoughts of heights. <laughs> because as they fly, they scream. Because they're terrified of the ground coming up and smacking them in the face. But we've got cats. Cats definitely think like they sound. Like, yeah, just... Tiny little psychopaths waiting to murder the mice who are having short, tiny thoughts. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Of running away and hiding. Uh, you got cows? You can tell what they're thinking. If you've ever looked into a cow, mm, they're thinking probably mainly about grass. Pigs? I used to work with pigs a long time ago. Oh my god. They're, they're terrifying. If you ever looked in the eye of a pig, they look back at you. And that's, that's scary. There's somebody in there. <laughs> beep, beep, boop, boop. Nothing like Peppa Pig at all. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. Now sheep, <laughs> sheep on the other hand, if you've ever, ever been on a farm in the dark in Australia, you should definitely try this out. It's so much fun. So you, 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 you look out into the paddock with your torch and you notice eyes, just thousands of them, all staring at you because they're sheep and they're, they're terrified of whatever it is. Then of course, one of the sheep gets scared and they make a scared sheep sound. And you can definitely tell what they're thinking because they're like, bah, bah, bah. and then of course they all join in together in a, in a beautiful a symphony, a choir of, sh of sheep. Poor little sheep. The horses, do they think? Nay. Ducks, quack. Quack, 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 quack. How does a duck sound? Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack. Are you a 38 year old man sitting in your cubby house in 47 degree heat making duck sounds? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but, uh, roosters. They really just want to wake you up. You can tell that. Who? Owls, though. They hoot. Who? Who? They sound creepy, right? At nighttime. That's what their thoughts are. Thoughts of murdering those terif terrified poor little mammals. Who? Yeah. Creepy. Frogs? I can relate. <laughs> Monkeys, snakes, bees, mice, and lions. All ver you can tell what. Anyway, that's enough. It's enough rambling. Thank you so much for coming with me today on this journey of, of, of philosophical understanding of minds other than human consciousness. <laughs> Just to, to end, let's make up a let's make up a dad joke about owls. Someone in this room is pretending to be an owl. <laughs> I didn't make that up, that's a good one. Anyway, thank you so much for breathing. Remember, be kind, be curious, and check this out. I, dr I drew um, a really weird version of, of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> yes, I'll stick with that. And stay awesome.